so I just got back from an eight hour drive. Anyway, Supreme lookbook and preview came out this morning and I checked it out before I hopped in the car and there's a lot of fire that we gotta discuss. But anyway, I haven't even unpacked. You can see like stuff cluttering the background and everything. Um, quick shot another video that I'll probably upload sometime after this one. It's an unboxing for some revenge shorts. So if you would like that, stick around, check out the other stuff. Um, yeah, just keep an eye out for that video. But anyway, there's a ton of stuff that I want to talk about. So we're going to talk about this. <laughs> there's a lot of like crazy good stuff. I feel like this season, one of the better ones that we've seen in a while. Um, definitely better than last season. Last season was really weak in my opinion. Um, there are a couple hard hidden pieces, but overall I think it was pretty weak. And this one, I feel like definitely tops that. I'm just gonna kinda like brush over the stuff that I don't really wanna talk about just cause there is so much stuff and I talked about. And if I talked about everything, this video would be super long. All right, so you got some leather jackets, nothing special. Uh, they're these wool coats, and I actually do like these. And it's kind of weird that there's no branding at all on it. Uh, I was kind of assuming there'd be like, I don't know, we've seen parkas with box logos on the back, kind of like this. But yeah, those are just like plain wool overcoats. They look like nice quality, but I wouldn't pay supreme prices for them because there's nothing really special about them. Just like a little bit higher quality than your normal wool overcoat. Got some puffer jackets, don't like puffer jackets. Agner Anoraks, which are decent, but they're leather, so that's ugly. Um, I'm not into that, maybe you are. Um, you guys got your own opinions, but I'm gonna skip over those because I'm not liking those. One thing I want to say is that Supreme has a ton of gore stuff. <laughs> Supreme has a ton of Gore-Tex stuff this season. Um, they got a couple jackets and I don't know, they got a lot of Gore-Tex stuff, like hats too, I think even. Um, but yeah, I think these ones are all right. Uh, I'm not crazy about it. I wouldn't pay like Supreme Parka prices for this just cause you know, it's pretty plain. It's got Supreme across the back of the hood, which is cool. That's, we've seen it go down in a stripe. I don't think I've actually seen one go across like that. Yeah, so they use this logo on quite a bit of stuff. I believe they have a Parka with it. And then like some other stuff that also incorporates that like dog logo. Um, so yeah. These varsity jackets are the cooler of the two, I believe, because you'll see they use the motion blur logo. Um, and this actually, Supreme, uh, Supreme actually used this logo a while back. I'm not sure which year, but it's not new, but it is cool to see them bring it back because definitely hasn't been used for a while, but yeah. Oh yeah, so this is the dog parka. Um, it actually looks like it's a different graphic than the other one, but still, you know, same idea, big dog on the back. Yeah, I got some more stuff. These are Gore-Tex, these uh, with the Supreme branding on it. Here's more Gore-Tex stuff right here. Um, I wanna look at this just cause I think this is one of the cooler Gore-Tex pieces. Um, this Paisley pattern is kinda cool, it's kinda hot. Um, it comes with a hood, which is also nice. And the white and red is kind of cool. We saw a jacket very similar to this last season and the season before it, I think, where it's mostly white with a little bit of like some red pinstriping. And actually, you probably saw these same colorways in those jackets. I think a lot of brands usually do that. Um, it's probably just like another type of court jacket. Um, a lot of brands do that. They use like the same item, same recycle the colorways, just change up the style of the item a little bit. Uh, so I want to just discuss this parka a little bit. I'm not a fan of it, but I want to talk about it because I think it's cool what they did with the straps all over it or whatever you want to call it. Uh, it says tape over it. This tape, obviously the same that the bags from last season used for a lot of their taping or all their taping and stuff. I don't like how even it is. I don't like that it's like blocked off. If it was uneven, that'd be cool. Like maybe get rid of the two um, horizontal ones on the bottom here. I think that'd look a lot cooler. Um, but since it's just like sectioning it off into like perfect squares, I think it's kind of ugly. This one's kind of cool. Um, I've been really wanting to get a denim jacket lately and I've been waiting for a cool Supreme Levi's collab. Um, and this one is actually pretty dope. It's called the Thorn Trucker Jacket and all the like red stuff going over it is supposed to be thorns, um, obviously from the name. Uh, but yeah, I actually really like this one and I think it's pretty cool. It's a nice jacket, you got the matching pants. Uh, I wanna talk about the Champion Collab or one of the Champion Collab pieces that they showed off here. Um, satin Varsity Jacket. So I think it's kind of a cool item to use, the Satin Varsity Jacket itself. I mean. That's pretty cool, but the branding is a little too much. 
Yeah. So that's way too many champion logos. Maybe like one champion logo on the back. This one is actually kind of a cool piece. Uh, the Rose work shirt. Kind of looks like some spray paint on the back and then also on the sleeve you got it. The flannels this season, I think they use some awesome colors for them. Um, like this bluish, purple, and gold, or like mustard color. I think that's a dope colorway for a flannel. And then also you have this like salmon and teal or however you want to go about it. like. A purplish pink with teal. Um, I think those colorways are really cool. Like those are perfect flannel colorways. Um, it's hard to find like cool flannel colorways, and I think those ones are just like the, some of the dopest flannel colorways I've seen. <laughs> they have some hooded corduroy shirts, which I don't think are too crazy. Props to them for making something like that, but. I just don't think it's too crazy. I think the button-ups this season are a spot that they did really well. Um, usually the button-ups are pretty plain and nothing too special. But I think they killed the button-ups this season. Um, here's another one that I think is super dope. You can see what you see, you know, it looks cool. But also it has a Sherpa lining. It actually makes it a lot warmer. Um, but yeah, and then you got some embroidery on the back and I think it's really cool. And they have some decent colorways. Probably would have been nice to see like a khaki colorway too. Instead of that orange maybe or just like additionally see that khaki colorway. So out of the jerseys that they did this this collection or showed off this collection. I think the hockey jersey is actually by far the coolest. Might have been cooler to see if they did like some like a seal on the chest or something maybe. Like or maybe a little bit more on the sleeves. I don't know. I like it. Kind of reminds me of like the Bauer font or something like that. Um, but yeah, here's the other colorways. I don't think any of the other colorways really work as well as this one. Um, the black one is kind of cool. Um, at that point, it kind of looks like a motorcycle jersey. Trash, trash. Uh, here we go. Alright, so... The Cat in the Hat collab. So that's a cool collab. And it'll be cool to see if they have more pieces other than what they've shown off. They've shown off this sweatshirt and some pants, I think. Um, I think that might be it. The pants are just like some regular work pants. They might have it after this. Um, but yeah, I mean, decent colorways. I'd probably pick like black, red, or white just because that goes well with the logo. Um, or maybe the blue as well, but I don't think green and yellow are very cool for this colorway. Moving on, let's see, you got some more sweatshirts, more and more and more stuff, tons of stuff. And then I thought this one was kind of cool how they did like the signature supreme um or i guess they say classic script i do like the stuff where they brand the rib logos um it's, there you can see it they have it on the cuff and then the rib for the waist and these colorways i'm not a fan of any of them also not a fan of that font that they had on there and i think champion this season the supreme champion stuff is pretty bad pretty like it's really bad. Last season's champion stuff was actually really cool. I liked how they did the champion across the shoulders and I thought that that font was cool. Um, like how they blew it up and everything. This is just kind of like the inside tag blown up on the chest. I think they have long sleeves like this as well. And you got the Madonna tee, which is a pretty cool one. Still life, this one says. Not a very big fan of this one. It's like newspaper cutouts or magazine cutouts. Just. I haven't actually read it, I don't know if it says anything actually, or if it's just like a bunch of random stuff. Um, Life Sucks Die, Gangsta Supreme. Um, that one's alright I guess, uh, maybe I'd have to see the colorways. <laughs> uh, bedroom Tea, it's just like a drawing, um, kind of looks like a oil, or not, kind of looks like a water painting. Um, liquid Tea, I think this one is one of the better ones of the seasonal teas that we see. Kind of looks like mercury or something, but I don't know. I guess it could be any melted metal. Um, but yeah, moving on. The bottle cap tea. I wasn't too crazy about that. I guess it's all right though. Um, this one looks like people just like messing with their fingers uh, like they do with like gang signs and stuff. Gang, gang signs and stuff like that. Uh, guts tea. This one is all right. Um, uh, actually, I'm not a huge fan of it, I don't know. <laughs> uh, 1994 tea. Um, so yeah, that's... Supreme was started in 94. It says Supreme since 1994 underneath that. I don't know if you guys can read that. 
but yeah, uh, I think this one's also one of the better ones of the seasonal tees that are dropping. I looked at all the hats that take forever. Um, so yeah, some of the beanies that I wanted to look at would be, they have box logo beanies. We saw this last fall winter. They're also doing crew neck sweatshirt box logos and you'll see them in the same exact colors as this. Um, so you got the gray with red on it and then everything else is just the box logos the same color as the sweatshirt itself. So it's just uh, kind of like a subtle one. These usually resell for quite a bit just cause people. All right, so I lost the last couple minutes of footage of like me and the audio of me, uh, the like better audio of me. So I'm just gonna use the screen capture that I was using. Um, and I'm gonna blow that up full. So it's gonna be like that for the rest of the video until the outro. Um, sorry about that, but yeah, if you guys are irritated by that, I will have a video up tomorrow getting my roommate's opinions on all of the lookbook pieces that he likes and everything like that, what he thinks, and it'll be pretty much the same as this, but just shorter and just cover like what he thinks. Um, but yeah, I want to get like the full set, you know, get the matching and stuff. Um, and then also people go crazy over the box logo stuff. This is the big logo beanie and these ones are all right. They're reflective, so I don't think they're as cool as last ones which were just uh they different colorways but instead of being reflective they're just white the last ones were made of cashmere that's i got one and super soft but i don't know if those ones are going to be cashmere because i think the last ones had cashmere in the title but also we got these the headbands and i think they usually do the big logo headbands like every fall winter maybe um but yeah it was cool to see they actually have like a cheetah or a leopard print um which is kind of funny and then they got the classic black one classic red one and then they also have a darker green which is kind of cool um but yeah i thought it was funny to see that cheetah print and i feel like people will probably go crazy over that one i actually have some extra ones this season or some different style bags than they usually do and then they also swapped up the colorways that they usually do usually it's like black red and blue yeah now they have purple black red yellow probably not my favorite supreme backpack that i've seen um out of these colorways i guess i'd say i like the black the most um i think the duffel bags are pretty cool too these are probably some of the cooler duffel bags i've seen just because you got that huge in your face branding on the side yeah so they got the shoulder bag which is a lot different from what they usually do um this one's kind of more like stretched horizontally usually they're kind of like more squarish um but yeah this one is just a little bit different shape i think they look pretty cool um i'm not a huge fan of shoulder bags myself um <laughs> i say that and i'll probably like end up rocking one or something but yeah um i think they're cool um not crazy about the yellow colorway or the purple colorway, I guess. Um, I'm just not too into either of those colors. Um, if I had to choose one, I guess maybe like purple a little bit more over yellow. Um, I don't know if that matters. Polar Tech totes. So lastly, I'm just gonna cruise through all the accessories and then I'm gonna wrap up the video. So yeah, they have the Supreme Santa Cruz bike, which is, you know, like the big accessory of the season. And I mean, I think it's really cool. Um, People are gonna go crazy over this. They got a teddy bear. Uh, they'll like, I don't know, cop that. Put it up with your Rolf Lauren polo bears. Uh, some inflatable chairs. Go like chill in the pool with that. Yeah, so I think this is a keyboard, maybe. Uh, stopwatch, I guess that's kind of cool. Um, Virgin Mary blanket. I actually really like this blanket. I thought this was cool. Um, probably gonna be super expensive. But I do think it's kind of cool. Uh, license plates, kind of cool. RC car, just gonna be ridiculously priced for an RC car, probably. Uh, gold pennant, uh, I've seen better gold pennants. Ashtray, or I guess just tray. Um, digital scale, can't imagine what people are gonna use that for. Male and female anatomy model. So I actually thought this was really cool. Um, and it also says, like below, it says plastic models with detachable hand painted organs. So that's cool um it also says sold separately if you guys can't read it and it says that they're eight inches tall i feel like this is something that would go perfectly next to like one of those cause dolls especially they had a cause one with the organs exposed you know if you had those two that go perfect together but i feel like this is something that somebody who collects that type of stuff would be super into and I myself think this is also really cool and it's kind of funny i don't know if you can see i just noticed this the female one has a baby inside the womb and uh 
<laughs> it has like a box logo on its back. A uh, step ladder, just like supreme branded tool block, toolbox. Uh, pilot markers, not sure what a pilot marker is, it just looks like a marker to me. Uh, food jar with spoon. Uh, iPhone 8 cases, hand mirrors throat drops or lozenges you got the knife uh i feel like they've done better knives in the past so nothing too crazy magnetic bike lights to go with your crazily priced santa cruz bike of course um ballpoint pen so they've done these before uh i think they usually do red though um id holder uh, nothing crazy pillbox i guess that's kind of cool i don't know it's gonna be crazy um gold debossed graphic uh yeah it's gonna be expensive um so yeah and then you got pins pins uh scarf i'm not a big fan of the scarf they've definitely done way better scarfs hand warmers so i actually think these are really cool and i feel like you'll see a lot of people rocking these uh just because it'll be you know like a chill little accessory to strap on <laughs> put your hands in to warm um it's just a hand warmer, you know, but the way it sits and the way the branding is, I feel like a lot of people really like these and use these. Um, and that's why I think they're one of the cooler pieces, um, one of the cooler accessories, I guess. Some thermal waffle pants and then the top to match it. And yeah, you got trucks, the wheels. I'm pretty sure those are always the same every season. And then these are the skate decks that they're showing off. I think they've done better skate decks. Last season they had the Skulls one, um, which I thought was a lot better. I'm not a huge fan of either of those skate decks. That sums up the lookbook preview or the preview of the season. I think it's dropping online next Monday. They're doing it a little different, so watch out for that. It's going to be on Monday instead of Friday. I think that's what I saw. Um, but yeah, this wraps up the video. Um, I probably missed some stuff, even some stuff that I wanted to cover just because there's so much stuff to go over in a video like this and it's hard to cover everything without making it like half an hour long or like 45 minutes long. Thanks for watching guys. Um, sorry about the last part that got kind of like messed up. But, uh, leave a comment in the comment section about what you guys are looking forward to and uh, your overall thoughts of the collection. And if you like videos like this, feel free to subscribe. And yeah, thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video.